Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of superficial hemangioma. A seven year old boy came with a bluish lump at the right super aspect of the back of the chest. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the lung section of the lesion. You can see an oval lobulated structure at the subcutaneous layer. The lesion is hypoechoic. It is quite well defined and there is no intramuscular or intrathoracic extension. So we have measured the lesion. It's around 17 millimeter by 7.5 millimeter. There are several differentials of this lesion, so we want to put color Doppler to differentiate among them. Here's the color Doppler picture. I have adjusted a little and you can see it's highly vascular lesion. The feeding vessels are coming from the chest wall vessels. You can see the arterial and venous flow, which can be differentiated looking at the pulsations. This is the venous one and this is the arterial one. So it's a highly vascular structure with both arterial and venous channels. This type of lesions with arterial and venous blood are nothing but the hemangioma, which is commonly seen in pediatric age group. Here's the still picture. You can see highly vascular lesion within the subcutaneous tissue layer. Here we have put the power Doppler and on power Doppler you can see the vascularity is well visualized. This is the power NGO so you can see this is the feeding artery giving branch to the lesion. It apparently looks like the thyroid inferno that we get in the hypothyroidism cases. Here's the still picture of the power Doppler. You can see the feeding artery coming from adjacent prominent chest wall artery. And the picture of the power Doppler showing high vascular flow. We have took sample from one internal vessel. It's showing high velocity, moderate resistant flow. We have measured the resistive index. It shows around 0.69 and the peak systolic velocity is around 44 centimeter per second. Here we are using the B flow which can give you a very good angiography like picture and you can see prominent vessels here supplying the lesion. If your machine has this B flow option always try to use it when you are looking at a high velocity flow or a dilated vessel like carotid. It can give you a very good idea about the vascular anatomy as well as the pathology. And the B-flow image showing prominent vascular channels within the lesion. Here's the still picture showing multiple vessels within the lesion. We have used the curvilinear transducer also to see the deeper detail. This is the lesion and this is the lung border and uh, ribs casting posterior acoustic shadows. There is no deeper extension of the lesion. Here's the 3D image of the lesion that we have taken with a volumetric convex prop. So, in summary, an oval labulated hypoechoic area is noted at the subcutaneous layer of the back of the chest. Color Doppler shows high vascularity within the lesion of both arterial and venous types. The feeding artery arises from adjacent chest wall arteries with a high velocity moderate resistant flow. So these features conclude it to be a case of superficial hemangioma. Now the take home message. 
Whenever you get a lipoma-like mass in a child, use color Doppler to exclude hemangioma. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.